Well, a little early today, right at this time around, because we got a lot to talk about. And um, obviously, the first thing is um, to go talk about Iloa's injury uh, to his hip um, that will cost him probably the rest of his college career. Um, it, it, you know, it could be, you know, something, it could have been something even way more serious than that. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, Tua is out for the year. His season is done. And um, Alabama, of course, cruises to another big victory over Mississippi State. Uh, 38-7, Tua had four touchdowns in the game. Um, I mean, it's just sad. Just really, really sad um, to see that, you know, a, a great player is, you know, uh, going to miss the rest of his college career. Um, you know, hard, you know, thoughts, prayers, and stuff like that. Wow, well, to a, and, you know, you just hope that he gets better. Um, but what's this mean, you know, for Nick Saban and the Crimson Tide? What does this mean now? Well, Still means still means there's still a possibility, but the the margin is getting a lot smaller. Um, the opportunity um, for an SEC championship is still there for Alabama, but it's not looking likely at this point. You know, we'll talk about LSU in a minute, but it's not looking very likely at this point. Um, so who knows? What about Oklahoma State? You know, they get a big victory against Kansas. You know, they just beat with the, just beat them down real bad. Uh, Penn State looked terrible against Indiana. But, you know, I, I guess this is going to – if that doesn't help, you know, Ohio State's coming next week for Penn State. <sighs> so that's going to – really mess with things, you know. Penn State's defense needs work. I've been saying it all year long. That their defense is not that great. Michigan, it's a big-time victory against Michigan State. You know, Michigan State hasn't looked very good all season, so, you know, it is what it is. Wisconsin also gets a big victory. You know, they'll, um, they win against Nebraska. Was not really anything special. Um, Florida beats Missouri again. You know, uh, Florida's out of the SEC East race anyway. Um, we talked about Georgia, who won the SEC East in a minute. Um, Notre Dame, they beat Navy. They beat them up pretty bad. Navy did score 20, though. So um, Memphis continues to roll. So does Clemson. They also continue to roll. They beat Wake Forest 50 to the 3. So, you know. It's looking like bad times over there. But anyway, Georgia and Auburn, but first, um, Ohio State just beat Rutgers bad. Um, it's Rutgers, so, you know, it is what it is. But Georgia and Auburn, but this game was absolutely terrible, terrible game. Georgia was up 21 nothing, but it didn't feel like it was a 21 nothing game. It didn't feel like, you know, Georgia was dominating Auburn. Um, and then Auburn came back, scored 14 unanswered, and there was still like seven minutes to go. And Auburn wasted two drives, and then Georgia just won the game. Simple as that. ACC East champs. Should I mention also that Clemson is the ACC Atlantic champs? They, so both these teams have punched their tickets to championship games. So, you know, it's going to be great. Uh, if you can wake up. Um, Minnesota, Minnesota, hey, remember y'all were undefeated, well, Iowa has done it again, they've, they beat Minnesota, and Minnesota just beat themselves pretty much, basically, during that game, you know, missed extra point, missed field goals, P.J. Fleck running onto the field, um, just, just, just some off play by Minnesota, but they still have a slight chance at a playoff berth. It's very small, but you know, the Big Ten champion is probably going to the playoff if they have one loss. And if Minnesota can take care of business against Northwestern and beat, you know, Wisconsin, 
in a few weeks' time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's going to be fun. Did they play Ohio State? Oh, oh boy. That's going to be something, let me tell you. Cincinnati is still stuck at 17 for some reason, but they did beat South Florida on the last second field goal. LSU's defense is pretty bad, but uh, honestly, it, it really didn't affect them all that much. The bad defense play didn't affect them. They still scored 58 points. You know? Appalachian State takes care of business against Georgia State, um, 56-27. Um, most of these division races are still wide open. And there's going to be a lot going on down there, you know, in the Sun Belt. Sun Belt Championship is right around the corner, like with all the conference championship games, right around the corner. Um, Texas A&M is back in the rankings. They take care of business against South Carolina. <laughs> Utah takes care of business as well against UCLA. Lots of fumbles during that game. Lots of bad plays by UCLA and Dory Thompson Robinson, just bad play overall. Boise State takes care of business, 42 to 9 against New Mexico. And then, of course, you know, Oregon. Oregon, y'all remember the Ducks. They beat Arizona bad. They beat them like they stole something from them. But, you know, it, it didn't really matter all that much. Once, once Oregon got out to a big lead, it was already over. Arizona's offense was supposedly number one in all the nation, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But anyway, let's talk about this game right here, the Oklahoma Sooners and the Baylor Bears. Oh, my goodness. Meme it to death. Baylor had a 28-3 lead in this game. Jalen Hurts was rattled. There was no C.D. Lamb. Just, I mean, Jalen had like three turnovers in, in the first half. Charlie Brewer and company went out and smacked Oklahoma in the mouth. What happens in the second half? Oklahoma chews clock. They chew clock. They eat it up. And Baylor did not have the ball at all in the second half. They barely had the ball. They only had like 10, 15 plays in the second half. And Oklahoma had about 90 or so. So, you know, it is what it is. Like 90 total. Baylor only had about 50. At best, and you know, I mean, Baylor just had this game wrapped up in a bow, but you could count out Oklahoma. You know, we thought we were gonna count out Oklahoma. Nope, did not happen at all. Did not happen. Um, so, what does this mean for Baylor and Oklahoma? Well, these two teams still have one loss. Both both of them have one loss. Um, this really isn't going to affect. You know, the playoff picture for either all that much. The other team, there's plenty of other teams ahead of Oklahoma right now, but Oklahoma's in the top 10. You know, there's probably going to be some other teams that sneak into the top 10 as well. But Baylor still has the slimmest of chances, and so does Oklahoma. Um, if Baylor beats Oklahoma in the Big 12 championship, and, we're, and keep in mind, um, there's a lot going on at the Big 12 right now. I haven't even mentioned the Longhorns losing because they went off sides and allowed Iowa State to run out the, the, the clock and, and kick a field goal to win. Terrible, terrible loss by the Longhorns. But uh, Baylor, they they've got some they got some things to work on. You know that defense not look good in the second half. Uh, defense was great in the first half. But I think they just got tired. They got tired and ran out of gas. And the offense just wasn't on the field. You know, it is what it is. But the Big 12 championship race is still here. It's still alive for Iowa State, for Texas, and for Oklahoma State. There's a lot going on for the Big 12 championship picture. All for one of those three teams there, um, Baylor has to lose twice or Oklahoma has to lose twice. And... I don't know if I see either of those two scenarios happening. So we could be looking at this game again on December the 7th. We could be looking at this game once again. And do I think Baylor has a, a shot uh, the second time around? Probably yes. The way they played in that first half really says yes, they do. 
but but they just didn't could not get Oklahoma off the field in the second half. It was the defense that was the problem in the second half. Yeah. It's gonna do it. That is week number as I can't remember words or anything. But that was the week in a nutshell. Um, week number 12 finished up. You know, it's all good. Ugh. So what excited you? What 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 did y'all think of this week? What did y'all think of Baylor's performance in, in that Oklahoma game? You know, how do y'all feel um, about Georgia? How do y'all feel about LSU? How do y'all feel about Alabama now that uh, two was gone? You know, that's going to do it for this video. We'll do a week number 13 preview very, very quickly here on this channel. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in a few minutes.